Hello everybody and welcome along to the next stream of some F1 Manager Haas Career Mode. Today we're going to be doing the next race, episode 9 I believe of the Career Mode and uh, well it may already be time to get behind Kevin Magnussen for the title. Uh, if you missed the last episode basically we had a bit of a crash gate, not on purpose, but Ocon crashed out causing a safety car that allowed Magnussen to win the race when he was only on for maybe, I don't know, maybe a podium uh, at best. So, uh, but it meant an even bigger golf between the two teammates. Magnussen now is very much in control of the championship. It's not even the halfway point of the season. Is it already time to get fully behind Magnussen? We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. Before we forget it, let's do the development points. Probably want it. I believe braking is actually really OP in this. So we'll put it on braking. Probably the same for Magnussen, to be honest. We'll put his on braking too. I almost said in chat, the braking's OP, and I, and I do believe them. Well, we want to do the wind tunnel if we can. Uh, just under 15 mil we've got. Not quite enough to buy that. I do still want to improve everything else, though, because I want to make my um, team attractiveness as high as possible. That doesn't actually improve it. Um, because I would like to sign a certain Mr. Hamilton. But that said, I was going to get rid of Kevin Magnussen. I can't get rid of Kevin Magnussen if he wins the championship. Surely I can't. In terms of cars, then. As you can see here, we have got one of the best cars in the field still. Not quite the best, but one of the best. But Red Bull, they've still got the best car. They, they have still got a better car. It's for Stappen that's making a difference, though. If they had two Perez's, we'd be right in there. Better facility upgrade complete. Nice once event. And then we've got the race coming up quite soon. Design, we've got a underfloor. We've got a floor being designed. We've got two research projects. Uh, we're also manufacturing front wing and rear wings. Cool, okay. We can do another chassis now as we broke... Broke one in the last race. We'll build a new chassis. It's the one. The weather facilities can now complete. Yada, yada, yada. We know it goes from 80% to 90%. How much is the next one? If it's cheap, we may do it. 4.8 mil. Not cheap enough. Okay, got a new, new rear wing. I believe we need to apply those to the car. I don't think we've got the new rear wing spec on at the moment. No, we haven't. So that will give us... Well, look at that. That's not bad. That's a decent upgrade, that. Target sense. So he wants us to get one car into Q3. We'll also guarantee... Two cars into Q2. That should be very, very easy. Um, and we'll also guarantee two cars inside the top six. That also should be pretty easy with the car we've got. They want us to get two cars inside the top eight in the race. That shouldn't be a problem. We're not going to guarantee fastest lap. And they want us to get into the top ten. One car inside the top ten. Qualifying streak. Unfortunately, I failed that in the previous race, I think. Or maybe the race before that. We'll guarantee two cars inside the top ten for the next five races. I reckon we can do that. All right, let's crack on then, guys. Let's head to the Canadian Grand Prix. Rain, guys. We've got some rain forecast. We've got some moderate rain for the Friday, and then we've got some heavy rain forecast for the Sunday. So our weather center might come into its own straight away. A brand new weather center. Okay, car setup. Right, it's Canada, so it's going to be low downforce. Yeah, sure. I know what I'm doing. 25 laps. Make sure we can get the full 5 out of 5 on the setup optimization. Okay, cool. And then setup again. We definitely want low. I'm going to go even lower downforce on K-Mag. He seems to quite want a low downforce car. Probably not that end. It's probably more likely to be this end. Yeah, I'm sure. I think K-Mag's going to quite... I think, I think we've got a better setup on K-Mag's car. The knock-on's car, but we'll see. All right, let's crack on. So, guys, if you haven't seen this before, all we're doing really is waiting for this to get to 5 out of 5. BSC. Oh, see that wasn't me, then. was it? All eyes on Kevin Magnuson. Oh, here. good. What's, what's happened? What? What? He's probably out. He is out. It's a red flag. That was insane. God's sake. I've just lost a third of a practice time for Magnuson. Let's hope Ocon finds a good setup in this session or we could be in trouble. Five out of five now. Right, 23 minutes. Probably haven't got enough time to fully do a setup, but he hates. Let's see if, let's see if we can get him to rerun the animation because the animation gives you a clue as to which end can. So, okay, yeah, find the wrong end. That needs to go be there. Yes, there. And then try and bring these more or less back. 52%. That's not a bad start. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Yeah, there you go. Four out of five. Nice. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. I've, that's also the first time I've seen a red flag, by the way, in practice, which means there can be a red flag in qualifying, so I need to be careful doing my risky strategies. In that crash, guys, he needed a new suspension, maybe new side pods. I think he did need new side pods. He needed a new rear wing, and he needed a new chassis. He needed four of the one, two, three. He needed four of the six parts of placing in that crash. Okay, so I reckon we'll learn from Ocon's setup, and we'll do something like that, and then something like that, just to get it loosely right, because I don't... Annoyingly, Ocon, we don't know if his setup's good or not yet. And then Ocon, we're just going to send him out straight away. 15 apps, that'd be more than enough. So, okay, let's do it. Oh, is it going to rain, though? Yes, it is. 
Very much so. 4.9. Yeah, it's full wets. It is full wets. It's a bit unfortunate. That means we're going to have to burn up some tyres, which we would normally use for the race. But there he goes. Oh, i just gone past the pit entry. Of course he has. Brilliant. Things aren't going my way today. And the yellow... F That's Ocon. Ocon's just crashed! It's a crash! I haven't got enough parts for that. Probably. Unless it's a little front wing dink. Or oh, front wing. I might be okay just for... If it's only a front wing, I might get away with it. What is wrong with my drivers and crashing at the start of practice today? Okay. Oh, my work. What? I must want to go all the way to there. I see. Okay. Okay. He's, he's going to much prefer this one. This might need to go like that, possibly. Uh, we'll send him out on maybe soft. Oh, no. Of course, it's wet still. So, keep him on the wets. What? Is he, is he damaged? He damaged his tyres. Oh, my God. We've got a wet practice too now. And then we've got a wet race coming up. And he's damaged his tyres. Oh, I was on slicks. I don't think it makes a difference, weirdly. It should obviously make a difference. Anderson's going to go 5 out of 5 any second now. There he goes. Thought Ocon was going to love his, and he didn't. Yeah, it's definitely too low down for, so that's fine. Way to go on that. I guess that way. This is not going the way that I wanted it to go. All right, I need to get Ocon to 5 out of 5 ASAP, so we can set him up for, a, for his third run of the session. I call him in. Uh, I mean, it's better. 90% is not bad. Probably just tweak that up by a couple of clicks and he'll really like it then. Should be pretty damn good. Okay, Ocon bear okay. Because it was wet, Ocon barely used those 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 slicks. So hopefully he can get to five out of five in this session, but we will see. Like oh, up. can you can you guys? At the moment I'm still okay. I've not had to put anyone on the old parts, but if, if we have one more crash, I probably will have to put people on the old parts. He is actually on inters to be fair, on a on a pretty dry track. Oh, he didn't get to five out of five. Not quite. Hopefully no rain today. Let's crack on. He doesn't. I bet he's got to four or five. I mean, surely that's 100%. Surely we've absolutely smashed that. What did Magnuson think of his? 82. I might copy the setups. 5, 11.5. That's not worked. That's sent him completely outside the zones. That, actually, that's only one click. Look, you see this has gone from outside with one click. It's gone all the way to the inside. So possibly the same with this, maybe. I mean, at the very least, it's going to have like 90... 8% or Check something. Alright, let's go Ocon in. See what he thinks that's set up. Probably perfect. Hopefully perfect. Ah ha There you go. 100%. Perfect little set up. Okay, at least that's gone our way. Oh. That's not really cost him anything. It wouldn't cost him much in the race either, but the amount of mistakes he's making today is a worry. Alright, what does he think? Tell me he loves it. That's pretty good. 95%. Because we've got some optimals there that we want to make sure we keep. Oh, well, there you go. Let's just try that. See what happens. If it doesn't work, we'll just revert. Right, where do we end up then? Okay, 96%, 100%, and we've got them both to 95 and 88. Actually, they've... Oh, it must be this. This must be 90%, have I remembered it? Oh, well, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Both cars into, into the top six is essentially our aim. Set them straight out. We, we haven't done this the last couple of episodes because we've been risking it and leaving it to the end of quality, but I don't want to risk that today. Let's hope we don't get any traffic, though we're fine. No traffic at all. Lovely. This should see us... This one lap should see us straight through Q1. Totally fine to go for on those laps. Where's Verstappen? Oh, he's out there now. There's been a crash. Oh, the clerk crashed. Let's take a look at Lock up. And there we <laughs> see the crash. <laughs> that classic crash. He's out. The clerk's going to be at the back of the grid, guys. Huge. Absolutely huge news. No, he's not. Because he only hit his front wing. He got back to the pits. We're, we're no problem. It's the clerk, though. Can he say a good lap? He's got for... He's slow. 22. No, not quick enough. Slower. The clerk's going to be at the back of the grid. He must have had more damage. I said he hit his front wing and was able to get back to the pits, but it, he must have had chassis damage or something that he wasn't able to repair. Huge. That's one of our rivals, guys. Out of contention for this race win. That is absolutely huge. Seems to have very good pace there, which is good in that first session. I'm both out there and hope we don't get any traffic again. Whoa, okay, Ocon's not. Magnuson will get some traffic. He might not have held up too badly, though. He did just overtake him in a straight. I know he didn't. He actually still went quicker than... Ocon. So that, that lap should be enough to see me through. Once again, we'll take the new set of tyres. I don't think I don't think I, I may as well send them out, to be honest. I don't think I gain anything. Three minutes, we'll send them out now. Reason being, although yes, I am using a new set, another set of tyres. So annoying. I'm, using, I'm going to use these tyres again in Q3. I'll use the, this this U set at the start of Q3, so it's not a biggie. Okay, Verstappen started to turn up then. We're now about a tenth and a half off Verstappen. And tell you what, looking at the third best team today, I, th I think it's the drivers. I don't really know. So used run yeah, initially. Set a decent lap. To be honest, the, the tires aren't that much slower. Really, really not. Oh, they might both get some traffic here though. That's not ideal. Yeah, half a second. They both got, they both lost about half a second now, I think. But that's fine. Take the new tires. Okay, let's send them out like now. Make it send them out nice and early. Yeah, there you go. Right at the front of the pack. That's what I like to do. Guarantee no traffic. Right, let's go. 
Come on, guys. Let's slow things down a little bit here. That's improvements. Keep improving, guys. Yes, all the greens. All the greens. Going through the final turn then. Rock on. Can he improve? He's half a second off right now. He should be able to because he got a bit held up on that previous run. He goes to two tenths off. Not too bad, but not great. Mag's about to cross the line as well. We need him to improve, that's for sure. Here open, should go ahead and rock on a thought, judge on the pace this weekend, and he does, by about a tenth and a half. Tenth and a half off pole, almost. Yeah, it's not too bad. I should be doing better than that, to be honest. I've got one of the best cars. I, I must be the drivers holding me back, but we'll see. Ma Verstappen just being OP. He's actually gone a bit slower than he did in Q2. Still enough for pole, though. If I was on pole, maybe I'd try and run away, but that's not an option. So what I'm going to do is try and stick with him in DRS range, as I always do at the start. We've got the rain coming here on around about lap 26. Quite brief, though. Looks like it will get quite wet. Yeah, box on lap 27. Medium still lap 27. Then go to inters. Then go to softs at the end, I reckon. Yeah, I think I might even do that, commit to that on both cars, to be honest, because that seems no brainer. And then, then come off these on around about lap 50. If that forecast ends up being perfectly accurate, that's giving me the strat. So we'll, I'm actually applying that to both cars. I'm pretty confident that's going to be the one. We'll see. Right, come on, guys. Race start. Starting P4 and P5. Magnussen in P4, Ocon in P5. We could gain some positions off the start. Looks like most people are on mediums. And off we go. We will start from Magnussen, but looks like they could. Ah, they lose side, are they? Looks like Ocon's having a look down the inside. Go on, Ocon. He is. Oh, sorry. He is. Unfortunately, though. Uh, oh, no, Magnussen got past. I didn't see that. Magnussen got past uh, Perez. Let's say Ocon could do the same. Good job, Kev. Go on, Ocon. Send it. Where is he? Where is he? Job, Let's go to this job. view. I thought she just can't see half the time on this view. That's why I like to use the onboards quite a lot. We did eventually get past him. Magnuson's attacking. Go on, Magnuson. That's a good view. Go on, Magnuson. Get up to P2. Go on. Go on. Send it. Yes. Oh, what a what a legend. P1? P P1? Nice work, Kev. P1? Oh, good day. See you later, Max. Uh, I said nice see work. you later, Max. Please. Thank you. P1 it is. And P2. P3. P1 and P3. Now, I'm going to keep him pushing hard now. See if we can break the DRS. I, I doubt it. We're going to be rinsing our tyres doing this, but it might end up being worth it. You never know. I'm not going to... I'm going to get Ocon to sit with the pack. Oh, crash. Several cars involved. We'll get a replay of it in a second. Oh, it's the Ferrari. It's Leclerc again. He's going to lock up and smash the back of the Aston Martin. That's exactly what he's going to do. Wallop. Oh, my word. Okay. So, Joe's out. Leclerc actually survived that. But, uh, yeah, let's just cruise now. Safety car is in this lap. Now, do we try and get Magnussen to run away again? I think we probably do. And then we'll get Ocon just to go to maybe a medium push level. Let's see if we can just stick with these guys. Without... Uh, actually, we'll try and get him to overtake, shall we? May as well try him to get him to overtake, I suppose. Let's go again. Come on, run away. Run away. And can Ocon attack? We'll go on board with Ocon, actually. Can Ocon attack? He might do, you know, because he's on, he's on overtake everything. He might send it here. He might send it here. Go on. Yes. Oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. He's still there or thereabouts. No, no. Lost out in the end. Nice attempt you get. Yeah, get him next time. How about right now? Deploy some ERS. Go. Wow, 1.5 seconds already. Hello. Uh, okay, we don't want to push quite that hard then. Go on, send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's tight. Go, 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 go. Don't back out. Don't back out. Oh, for God's sake. I think I want to try and run away with this race, you know. I think I want to get Ocon through and get him to run away as well. Go on, send it. Yes. 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 Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. Where is he? Here he is. And it's moved on. Moved on. Right. Get him to go to deploy ERS. If he doesn't get us back. No DRS yet, of course. Which is the reason I'm trying to push so hard to get away from him. DRS shouldn't be active. This lap should be next lap, I think. Now within seven tenths of each other. That is lovely. That is absolutely... They might be able to share DRS. We'll see. Yeah, to go both go down to push level four. Neutral ERS on both as well. 1.6 second gap. That's the important one. They're going to get each other's DRS now when it does eventually become active. We'll open it now. There we go. His DRS light is switched on. I'll just drag him up to the back of Magnuson. Now, am I pushing too hard? I probably, I definitely am pushing too hard. So now we're in the DRS train. I'll get them to both just go a little bit slower on the tyres. Never know. So if he ever takes me, I'm not that upset because he'll share DRS. Yes, go for it. Go for it. That's a shut DRS. Yeah, you see? And that's that's overall now benefited them. That's definitely benefited them. This could end up working nicely for me. As long as one of them doesn't lock up and take each other out. That has happened before in Mexico last season. Yeah, no, well, there you go. Again, that's, that's definitely benefited me. No doubt that's benefited me. This is lovely. Unfortunately, the car's behind are doing the same, so I'm not really pulling away from them right now. Oh, guys. That is not an acceptable way to drive against your teammate. Hold on, where's Verstappen gone? Okay, he's not lost too much. Seven, another safety car. Another safety car. Are you joking? What happened there, then? Albon's out. Norris is out. Another multi-car crash, was it? I'm going to get the replay. Here we go. It was, and it was Norris. He just locked up and hit. Oh. Goodness me. 
So our one from behind in the Alpha Tower is locked up and just smashed into Norris. Exact same thing as what happened with Leclerc. Let's well skip some time here. Let the field bunch back up. It's a bit unfortunate the field's been bunched up because otherwise we could probably get the gap uh, out, out to them a little bit. Okay, from now then we go for it. We go. I am going to go full send again. As long as the Ferrari doesn't overtake me, I'm happy. Which is not going to. Right, come on then lads. Let's get the gap back up. If I can sit at 4 out of 5 until we box, that's that's the dream. We've got a nice healthy gap there. They must not be pushing too hard. Their tyres will be a lot fresher, but hoping it's not going to matter. Alonso on soft, by the way. We've got a three second gap, which is pretty healthy. They can start sharing ERS. DRS, sorry, that's the dream. Alonso does not seem fast. Alonso's actually holding them up. So that's perfect. Alonso's just held them up. Yeah, go on. That's it. Again, that's the absolute dream. Free lap time. Another two or three tenths a lap you gain by doing that. It's a little lock up. Probably reach the wall. Daniel Ricardo I might not have done. It's quite a locked up very early. So it's probably okay. Yeah, he's okay. He just had to wait for everyone to go past him. Oh, they just gained. How did they just gain that much on us? What the hell? Side by side. But again, that doesn't actually matter. They don't cost them any time by doing that. They're almost getting DRS at us. What's going on? Our tyres just died. Oh, this isn't good, guys. Perez is going to be all over us. I have to get him to push his lap to try and stay out of DRS range. He's going to get DRS. He is. He's going to get DRS. As if they bridged that gap that fast, dude. He did a 16.5. We they gained another second that last lap. What an absolute joke. I hate DRS in this game. It's so... It's just stupid. Utterly, utterly stupid. But as for the pack, for Stappard was on his own. That is going to cost him. I can guarantee you that. We may as well get on to a lower push level now because there's just no point in us pushing any harder. Not going to gain us anything whatsoever. Honestly, okay. But Stappard's what I'm, I'm more worried about in the championship. But us four sharing DRS should benefit us. Ferrari's going to overtake Ocon. That doesn't, just doesn't matter. When you're in DRS train, it honestly doesn't matter what position you are in in that train. So Ocon has just lost a place there. But this is allowing Verstappen to keep up. Because Marcus is doing 18-0. Verstappen's doing a 17-4. What? Our tyres aren't that bad. What's going on? Why are we so slow? Bottas is going to join the train. I think. Oh. Oh, hello. Is that going to be a crash? Oh, he stopped just in time. Oh, did he hit me? Oh, he lock up and hit me. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He reached the wall. Oh, as if the, Aston, the Alfa Romeo didn't collect him as well. At least he's caused a bit of a split in the pack there. It's now a three-way fight. That being said, right now, we're not in DRS range of Ocon. Hopefully, this push level four can just get us there. Oh, hello. Perez is boxing. What a weird, weird decision. For softs? No, hards. Most people are boxing, guys, under this VSC. It's literally just started raining. It's just started raining. They've just boxed. Bed behind started putting on Inters right now. But uh, double stack. Yeah, I do. I do. Do need to double stack. Well, I may as well wait a little bit to see what that gets to, though. Inters or full wets? 100% inters. Inters, inters. All right, all right. Let's go for inters. That's fine. Yeah, let everyone's out of the pit lane. Everyone's going to box again. Such a weird strategy by the AI. That's an F122 strategy, that is. But Ocon is not going to have a favorable pit stop here. But I'm very glad, with that in mind, that all the guys behind made a weird strategy decision. No, that wasn't too bad. That was actually really efficient. 31.4. So about four seconds. That's not too bad. Oh, Perez stayed out. So get past him, get past him, get past him, get past him. He did, he did. Racing, racing positions are resumed, and Perez is going to be so slow. The clerk stayed out as well. And Russell. He's now five seconds back from us. Make that 6.2. 8.6. Perez is out of this race. I'm going to lead this race by 30 seconds, guys. What? That's insane. Why? I'm so confused. They put Verstappen on full wets. Now, this is where things get interesting. Uh, so is Perez. The clerk's got inters. Okay. 2.5 mil of water. Right now, that'll be slow. It will get... He, he, he probably will have a couple of laps where he's rapid, though. 2.7 seconds to be my guys. I'm just going to... I'm going to let them, let them keep doing what they're doing, to be honest. Tyres, they're a bit warm, but... It's what it is. Oh, they're boxing. They're boxing. It's because it's got over 4 mil. They're all going to box for full wets now. Okay. Right now, full wets are better. As you'll see now with Stappen. It's just suddenly rained a lot harder. Look, it's got up to 4.29 mil. Right now, we're in heavy rain, guys. Let's hope we don't lose an absolute disastrous amount of time. Why did Perez not lose, like... Why is Perez not, like, down here somewhere? How is he still fourth? I don't know. Bottas is OP, though. Perez went for the full wet tyres, guys. And he has not got much traffic. Perez is a threat. Verstappen... Oh, he will be a threat now. He's just overtaking these guys. But look at him. He's flying past them now. Bottas and Leclerc are boxing for full wets. Guys! What is this race? But Red Bull is still going to get three and four in this race. Okay, they're gaining six seconds lap on us right now. Let's see when Perez crosses the line. Okay, we need we need we need this to peak ASAP and start going. Okay, this started to very slightly dry up. As you can see that number very slowly ticking down. We need that to tick below four quite quickly. All right, we've just crossed the line. Back down to a 30. There you go. Immediately gained three seconds that last lap. How quick was that last lap time? Verstappen's just boxed. Has he gone for inters? Verstappen's gone for inters. Surely it's worth staying out to his full slit. He's gone for inters. That's gonna cost him. Behind a load of guys that are on inters. That's genuinely his position. Obviously, he'll gain on these two guys on full wets, I think. Perez boxes. Again. 
Their strategy is not as bad as some others, though. Some people went mediums to hards to inters to wets to inters, and then they'll go back to slicks at the end. That's what some people's strategy. That's a six-stop race. I'm going to do a uh, two-stop race. Massively mixed up, but we're doing the mid-23s now. We're still second half quicker than Hamilton. What's our gap now? 45-second gap to the rest of the field. We are absolutely chilling. The worst case, the worst thing we've got is a bit of traffic. Don't bend it. You guys aren't the best at not wrecking. No, we'd look. We're not going to talk about that. They, I've got full confidence in them. Ah, still 21-9. We're about a second quicker then. Right now, Stappen. Looks like he's got past one guy, but still on there in P8. Yeah, I don't know your drivers didn't bid it seconds to FP1. That's fine. Look, we don't, we don't talk about crashes. They've got this. They've got this. No worries at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was Magnussen. This is the pack that contains Verstappen, though. We're playing Le Leclerc all the way up to Sonoda in P5. So we're about to lap P5 here. Yeah, through the pack nicely. We're in a 1 2 position right now. I'm just waiting for Kevin to spin and knock on to run straight into him. It's not going to happen. No, 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 no. No, it's not going to happen. Schumacher is spun at the back. Doesn't really matter. Cardo up next. And then Verstappen just after. We've got, look, you can see Verstappen ahead. We're about to lap. Kevin Magnussen is about to lap. His championship rival. He's about to lap him in this race. There he goes. See you later, buddy. As if. I'm going to lap a car for a while. In fact, the next cars to lap would be P3 and P4. We've got an outside chance of lapping the entire field in this race, guys. This is far away from the start of practice one. What a transformation. I know, right, Andrew? Just a bit. The Red Bull's wrapping in a straight line, so Perez should just edge ahead here, which is exactly what he's doing. Look, no DRS. Is it side by side, though? I think they are. They are. Battle's not over yet. A lapped car coming up. He could shaft one of them. No. Perez has done it. Perez has done it. If you just see his pace now then. Uh, we're going to be boxing probably this. Oh, I should have boxed that lap. Should have boxed that lap because it's now below one mil. It's not risk running out of tyre at the end. So we'll, we'll box this lap for a set of mediums. We've got such a huge margin. No point taking any risk. Boxing both this lap. Yeah, surely these guys will box now. No. We could have gained quite a bit on them there by boxing. We're still going to box earlier than them because we're almost a lap ahead. Risky wets. No, I didn't mean softs yet. Oh, look at that. That was the dream. The dream pit stop. 26.2 versus 26.2. Literally didn't cost me a single second, single single thing to double stack them there. Again, Perez. Oh, DRS is active there. Like Hamilton's having a, having a good go at Perez here. But they'll surely both box. They do indeed. That is going to cost them a little bit of lap time. Let's just chill out. This should be it now for us. We've lapped everyone but P3 and P4. Look at that. Plus one lap. Plus one lap. Plus one lap. One, two. There's no one have a whoopsie now. That's my only worry now. Hamilton's boxing. I am going to lap Hamilton. Why did Hamilton box? Unfortunately, it also means we're not going to get fastest lap, but I guess I may as well push for it on this final lap. Last lap for Kevin Magnussen. Eight second gap to Magnussen to Rock on. 56 second gap from Magnussen to Perez. Insane. Look at this. He's here. Perez is here. I almost lapped the entire field. I lapped everyone but the podium runners, as you can see here. Absolutely mad race. Surely no one's going to make a whoopsie on the last lap. Is, is there a possibility we could steal fastest lap as well, just to make this the perfect, the perfect day? Magnussen has done two purples. What's Hamilton done? 22-4. Slower. Slower. Max is going to get the purple as well. Surely. There it is, guys. Several crashes. There's going to be a crash. But Magnuson crosses the line to take P1. Ocon crosses the line. We will cross the line. We'll watch the crash first. The wise it will happen at the same time. Hit the Aston Martin. A little lock up. Yeah. Always the same. Doesn't affect us, thankfully. Anyway, there we go. Ocon crosses the line to take P2. Magnussen does take the fastest lap of the race. The perfect race. Definitely helped by the AI. Uh, having a few, a bit of a dodgy strategy, should we say. Well, uh, very easy one, two guys in the end. 58. Oh, Ocon actually still is the fastest lap. Probably a bad choice that. Maybe should have given Magnussen it. Bear in mind, he's the one fighting for the driver's championship. But it's maximum points, though, guys. We take a one, two and the fastest lap. A maximum 44 points in our back pocket. And uh, yeah, I mean, we did two less pit stops there else that's why there's a one minute gap it's as simple as that really we just did a we did a human strategy they did a bit of a stupid strategy so the driver's championship then we get or magnuson gains 15 points over max verstappen which is absolutely lovely 50 45 points now is the gap between uh, magnuson and verstappen you can see we gain a decent healthy chunk of 19 points as well on red bull in that which puts us to exactly 40 points ahead of them Far from done and dusted. But there we go there, guys. That is the absolutely the race that we wanted today. Utterly, utterly dominant in the end with our strategy, which we absolutely grab with both hands. Uh, we get pretty much all of our targets. We have to pay Kevin Madison 440 grand for his bonus, but we gain $5 million, which should allow us to do a facility upgrade in the future. Design complete as well for the floor. So we're going to have an upgrade as well in the future races. When's the next race? 11 days. Oh, hello. Hello. That's a lovely game. Look at that. 
So again, we're, we're no longer the best in terms of cornering, but that would make us the best in terms of cornering, best in terms of DRS. We just, with red ball, we're going, we're going back and forth. That's what I mean. If we keep up the upgrades, we've got, we've got a good chance. If we stop the upgrades at any point and start concentrating on next season, that's when we could get in trouble. So, uh, we can move three. No, no. I think we just have to do a normal and just hope they don't crash. We'll give, we'll give them two floors. We may as well do that as we've done that now. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Certainly a good race from us. That utterly dominant in the end. A bit of a stupid strategy from the AI, but this is what happens sometimes when you play a computer. They're really programmed to do what they're programmed to do. But the next race is going to be the British Grand Prix around Silverstone. So look forward to that one. I don't think that one's going to come quite so easy to us. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.